Okay, let's continue along working with shapes. And what we want to see now is the differences between just a raw exposed shape, such as the where we can access the fill and the stroke, a object drawn shape, and grouped uh, shapes, actually grouped anything. And so let's take a look at those. So we'll start a, a new flash movie. Leave all the document settings as set, and we'll come over here and take our rectangle tool. We use a fill color of blue, any color you like, a stroke of black, or any color that you like. And I'm going to move my stroke size up to 12 so we can see it. And the first thing we want to do is to be sure that the object drawing mode is off, so that button has to be up. And then we'll come over to the stage, and with the shift key down, we'll draw a rectangle. And so this is the first time we really drew a rectangle. And uh, when you do a shift key, you get a square. If you don't hold the shift key down, then you can get different types of rectangles, depending on what your goal is. One, do those. I'm using the shortcut key on my keyboard. And this is a rectangle with the fill and stroke exposed, so we can click at them. And if we put other shapes on, si on top of it that are also not object mode, the fills will, and, uh, will merge. So let's go over to our rectangle tool again. This time put the object drawing mode on. Go back over to the stage again. I'll do a square, so I'll hold the shift key down. And you might notice some differences already, but let's get the selection tool in my hand. And we'll click again on the first square and you can see the strokes and the fills. We click on the second one, we no longer have access to those. Also another difference we'll see is the property window is showing drawing object when we select the second one. So the strokes and fills are not exposed but if we click into it and how we do that we just double click on it, will we actually be editing this drawing object uh, with the stage behind us and so we can see that if we come up to the top of this window and we can see now it's added another title saying drawing object so that's what we're actually working with and we're also seeing whatever is available in scene one but we can't change those items so we'll see more about this nesting idea it gives us the ability to work with something uh, behind the scenes and work with another object and, and develop it but right now let's just make a kind of minor change to this and really whatever you'd like to do. And then we'll go back to scene one. And again, I have my object. It's, it's just a different sh uh, shape. And what we'll do is we'll move it over top of the rectangle that we drew first and unselect it and then select it again. And you can see we do not have merging. So we'll not merge with other shapes. So it's another difference that you're going to work with, and it gives you that advantage. It can be resized, it can be removed. Notice the properties are pretty much the same for a drawing object that was a shape to start with. When you click a shape, you get pretty much the same. All right, so the next thing I want to do is uh, to draw one more rectangle. So I'll go over here and select the rectangle tool. Object mode off this time back over to the stage, shift key down Okay, somehow my mouse slipped try it one more time, there we go and I'll get the selection tool and you can see this is a shape where we can get at the stroke and the fill and I'm going to select all of it and use on the menu modify group and this will group everything that you have selected into a unit that can be moved together. So in this case, I just grouped the parts of the shape. So this is a group, and if we look up in the properties window, we can see it's called a group. It has a very limited number of properties because it contains a multitude of items. Right, this is an object. We can see it's mimicking the actual stroke and fill object that we drew. And with this grouping idea, we can group uh, many items. For example, I selected everything that's on this stage and do modify uh, group. 
and they all go together. When we click into a group, we can get at the individual pieces. In this case, they were all put together. And up here on the top of the stage area, we can see that we're actually in, nested into the group and working with the group. Back to the stage. And uh, we now have the group as one unit. And we can ungroup, go to modify, ungroup. And now the items are ungrouped. Of course, one of the items that we had in the group was this grouped rectangle. And if we wanted to ungroup that, we could also go to modify and choose ungroup. All right, so that will give you the basic idea of different ways you might see the same shape or, or variation of the shape in someone else's project or even your own as you're working. And they have different properties depending on how you put uh, put a container around them as we might say so uh, you can work with it this way so you can save your file and then we're done